Hey guys, hope everyone's day is going well, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the new yo-yo from SF, the CF or Cease Fire. This is a really awesome yo-yo that SF just released, so without further ado, let's jump into the review. It's just fired. Alright, so real quick shout out to people that got me this yo-yo, a quick shout out to SF for sending me this yo-yo, they messaged me on Instagram, they're like, hey, do you want to review the CF? And of course I said yes, they sent it right on over, so I got to give a huge shout out to SF for that, thank you guys very much, that is super generous of you, and I'm extremely grateful that you guys sent this to me. Alright, so first, what is this yo-yo, what is the CF? So, as I said before, the CF stands for Cease Fire, and the reason it's called the Cease Fire is because this is the signature yo-yo of Colin Ellingston and Alec Jones, and those guys are two extremely, extremely talented players on Team SF. And for a while now, they've had this kind of like rivalry over Instagram and kind of like in real life. It's really funny, but they've had this rivalry between them, you know, seeing who places better at contests and stuff like that. So they had this rivalry for a while, but now they've grouped together, Alec and Colin, and they've made a yo-yo that suits both of their needs. So essentially, this is the ceasefire. This is the end of their rivalry because they've created their own signature yo for both of them. Overall, I think it's just like a super, super sick idea. I love the idea of having a sick geo for two players, especially Colin and Alex since they've had this rivalry for a while. Alright, so real quick I'll throw the specs up on the screen and you guys can pause the video if you want to take a closer look at what the specs for this yo-yo are. Alright, so let's take a look around the yo-yo. To start, the appearance of this yo-yo is just so, so sick. I've posted so many pictures recently on Instagram of it just because it's honestly beautiful. It's this amazing rose gold body. Real quick, notice that the body of this yo-yo is 7068 aluminum, and then there's some stainless steel weight rings tucked into the inside of the cup. Overall, just like the combination with the rose gold body in it and the stainless steel weight rings makes this just a beautiful yo-yo to look at. The shape itself is a fairly flared out shape. It's not really like super wide in any dimension. It's not like a crazy wide yo-yo by any means. However, this shape it's a little more competition driven. It's a little bit more angular than some yo-yos. There's quite a few cuts that lead down to the bearing and then there's some low walls at the bottom, like any typical competition yo-yo. Now moving on over to the cup, we've got quite a bit going on. So, like I said before, we got this huge thick weight ring made of stainless steel on the inside. Then leading down, we got a bunch of cuts and then in the very center, we have this hub. But yeah, that's basically about it. The yo-yo itself is just amazing to look at. Now let's talk about how it plays. Alright, so we've established that this yo-yo is pretty good looking, but how does it play? So this yo-yo has to be one of my favorite feeling yo-yos out there that I've ever tried. It just feels so, so good. It feels extremely premium, very, very stable. However, it also has a really fun feel to it. So it's not so competition oriented that it's like boring to play with. It definitely keeps my interest. You know, with every throw, it just feels super solid. It's got an amazing, amazing spin time. So for my different categories of tricks, this yo-yo is amazing for fast tricks. It is a very zippy and nimble yo-yo. And you can definitely hit all your fast tricks with ease with this yo-yo. For whoops and slacks, this yo-yo is also fantastic. You know, the shape is very accommodating for that. For the more technical tricks, this yo-yo is also fantastic. You know, it's not really like big in any way. So it can definitely hit all of those technical tricks with no problem. And then finally for horizontal, this yo-yo is phenomenal. Those low walls make it super, super easy to hit all your horizontal tricks. There's a really long spin time and it's just like a powerhouse and it can do all of your extreme horizontal tricks. For grinds, this yo-yo is fantastic. So. Finger and palm grinds are absolutely amazing, you know, with that matte finish all around the yo-yo, it's super, super easy to do your finger and palm grinds. Thumb and talon grinds are also phenomenal since there is a bit of a, like, lip or ridge right there to lock into both of those. Finger spins are actually surprisingly good. Now, like I said before, there is that hub in the middle that you can't really, like, lock into a finger spin. However, since this yo-yo has such, like, a smooth matte finish, doing a finger spin is still super easy to do with this yo-yo. The design of this cup actually makes finger spins super easy to hit as well. Alright, so conclusion time. This yo-yo is super 
super solid. It's one of those videos that you don't see very often that's just really good at everything. There's like no drawbacks with this yo. It's really, really amazing. Overall, the yo has just a super, super premium feel to it, and I was very impressed with what SF has done with this yo-yo. By the way, guys, links to SF, all their contact info, and like the link to this yo-yo will be down in the description down below, so definitely check that out if you're interested in picking one up. Alright, so thank you guys all so much for watching my review of the SF CF. If you guys enjoyed the video and learned something new, be sure to hit that like button. Also, if you guys are new here and haven't seen my videos before, definitely hit that subscribe button because I post videos just about every single week. I hope you guys all have a great rest of the day, and I'll see you next time. Peace.